Let me get that watch, Snowflake. But it's a family heirloom. Oh, my God! All right. All right. Make sure I let the nigga at the pawn shop know that. Tell me Effie got locked up. It snitched out Tariq like I asked her to. But she held it down. She kept it 100. Nigga, you a whipped. Bitch is out for herself. But I'll handle it on my own. Just tell me when you want to meet. I swear to God. Yo, yo, yo. Come on, King. We always know where to find him. It's Monet again. When will y'all realize we don't live normal lives? <laughs> Drew, I need you to man up, okay? You're not going to be an NBA housewife. We're drug dealers. That's the family business. That's who we are. Did you see who did this? It was Tariq. Tariq? <sighs> he thinks Monet sent Tommy after his mom. He's looking for payback. You tried to kill our mother. The are they talking about? Tell them what happened. You almost killed me too. Been wanting to do this for a long time. I think we just started going off. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. This is the Kane Say Hi to Early Predictions video. So down below, I want you guys to give me your early predictions for Kane. How do you see a plan out for him in Season 4? Will he go up against his family once he finds out the truth? about Drew and Dirty Diana, man. I can't wait to see that, man, because y'all know your boy Kane. He gonna go crazy because he thought he had it all figured out, but once he realizes that they've been, you know, playing him and they set all of this up, you already know it's gonna be hell to pay. Now, you guys, make sure you check out my last few videos. I dropped the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. Drew Tejada early predictions video for you guys yesterday, and I also dropped the Jenny Sullivan in Blanca Rodriguez. They will continue to take L's in season four, and I dropped the Lauren. Is her story over? So continue to follow the playlist, continue to keep this stuff updated on all the latest power news, and you already know I'm going to continue to give you guys these videos. But let's talk about the topic of discussion, Kane Tejada. Now we know on season three, Kane, he was real smart, especially at the very beginning. I mean, he was figuring things out. He was moving way better than we've seen him move, especially in season one and season two. He came in real strong in season three. He figured everything out when it came to Lorenzo. And, you know, he continued to keep it a secret. And once he, you know, realized that Lorenzo had his back no matter what, he promised not to expose him, right? But we know what happened to Lorenzo. Monet set him up to be taken out by Gordo. Now, I believe Kane did have a great start to this season. But it seems like once we got, you know, past the middle part of the season, Kane started to go back to do the stupid stuff that we always seen him do. And I'm thinking like, what the hell is going on? I mean, if you figured out what happened to Freaky Ziki and, and that Lorenzo took him out, and then you had a good idea on who took Lorenzo out, but you kind of, you know, started to downplay it when it came to Monet. Talking about, I didn't think she was that crazy enough to do that. This is what he told Drew and Diana. So in his head, he had it like, okay... She could have done this, you know what I'm saying? And she made threats towards his life. So he kind of just played it off. And I'm thinking like, man, keep that same energy. And I talked about this when it happened. I said, keep that same energy that you had when, uh, with Lorenzo when you found out what he did. You know, talking about I own you and all this stuff. Where was that same energy at, Kane? I mean, you told your pops at his funeral, you're not going to let him down again or something like that. Like, really? Where is the energy at? You just, you know going to downplay it now because you feel like Monet may have done it. And, you know, once you found out the truth, you don't really care too much, you know, about that no more, which to me was flat out crazy because we seen that connection that Lorenzo and Kane had, especially right before he died. And we seen how Kane was acting at the funeral. He was pissed off. He was pissed off at Monet for telling, you know, him to back down when him and Drew got into that argument at the funeral. Um, so to me, it just doesn't make any sense on why he didn't keep that same energy with Monet. But then again, Drew did say Kane was a mama's boy, whatever. And we know Kane, he always wanted that respect 
from her. So, of course, he had a good old time once she started to show him respect and she started to do more things with him instead of Drew. Now, we know on season three, Kane, he fell for Effie. They hooked up. He clapped those cheeks. He was having a good old time. But it seemed like Kane liked her more than she liked him. And he wanted to take it real serious. But she's like, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? That's not happening. So, of course, you know, he was kind of broken up about that. And Monet told him, look, she's out for herself. She got you whipped. I mean, you out here doing all types of stuff to make sure that she's good. And Monet was not lying at all. I mean, Kane, he wants to get back at Tariq so bad and he wants to be with Effie. This is where you started to see him make all these mistakes. It seems like before that, before him hooking up with Effie, he was making better moves. But after he hooked up with her, this man completely changed in my opinion. Now, we know he had issues with Drew throughout the entire season as far as who was taking control and who had the Tejada throne, especially after Lorenzo passed. Well, we know Kane, he was the one that stepped up to the plate but Drew, he had some tricks up his sleeve. And that was to team up with Dirty Diana, become Drew Anna, and set up everybody. You know what I'm saying? Set up Monet, take out Tariq, make sure Kane's involved as well without knowing. I mean, that whole game plan had everybody messed up. And this is where we go into season four for those predictions. Because we know Kane, he still wants to get back at Tariq because he believes Tariq was the one that did all of this. But the sad thing is Tariq didn't do all this you gotta look at your family and as i told y'all that will be the weakness of the tahada family is themselves and i cannot wait to see how that's going to play out now do you guys believe kane is willing to take out drew because once he figures out what they've done i mean he's going to be pissed off and we already talked about this in the past it's been a lot of prediction videos about kane and drew the whole kane and abel story and you know a lot of fans believe that kane would always take out Drew, but this time around, it definitely looks like that could happen in this next upcoming season. But Kane, he has to make sure that he makes the right moves this time around the entire season. He can't be slipping up. He can't be trying to go mess with Effie because we know he did help Effie out in the season finale after she pretty much played him when he came there to help her out, right? No, Kane, you gotta be in your A game. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I understand that he still has those feelings for Effie, but you're going to be heartbroken just like Monet told you. So just keep it business. I still think he's going to probably mess around with her. But just keep it like that. Just clap those cheeks and go along about your day, Kane. Do not try to get invested in no Effie because you're going to get played. Now, we know Kane, he's going to probably be recovering once season four you know, starts because he did get shot in the shoulder. They show like a small blood splatter when Braden shot at him. But he was able to recover and start shooting back. So he going to be good. He's just going to be trying to figure out what the hell is going on. But those secrets will be revealed. His energy will be at Tariq at all costs. And for Diana and Drew's sake, that's probably the best thing that can happen. And you already know they're going to be doing whatever it takes for that secret not to be revealed. But we know we're talking about Power Book 2 Ghosts. These secrets will eventually come out. And then it's going to be more secrets that's going to be created after those secrets are revealed. I mean, it's just like a pattern. It's nonstop drama over and over again. Now, I will say this. Kane, he has to make sure he does not underestimate Tariq. He cannot underestimate Tariq. And I'm pretty sure he understands that Tariq is very smart because Tariq, you know, has moved in certain ways. And he gave Kane advice about Uncle Frank and, uh, of course, how the organization is ran. He understands that Tariq ain't your average Joe and that he cannot underestimate him. And hopefully... He does not let that obsession with Tariq get the best of him. But knowing how Kane has moved in the past, he most likely is going to be acting all crazy when it comes to Tariq. But once the truth comes out, I believe things will change. He also cannot underestimate Brayden. He figured that out in season three when he got shot at. And I believe he's going to say, OK, this white boy ain't playing around. Like, I got to make sure I don't slip up around him. And he has to make sure he does not underestimate Drew in Diana and that's when he finds out the truth and before he cannot underestimate them even though he understands in his heart that Drew is not ready to take the Tejada throne he believes that he's at the top but he cannot underestimate them because y'all saw what happened in season three with the whole setup with Monet and Kane being involved and of course them setting up Tariq Kane when he does figure out the truth he needs to move very similar to how he was moving at the very beginning of the season when he found out about Lorenzo. He cannot let them know. 
You have to, you know, come up with a game plan to figure out what you need to do. And I believe that Kane and Monet, they're going to click up and figure out what they need to do. And as I told you guys, what they need to do is take out Drew. He got to go. Somebody in the Tejada family is going to have to go. And one of them is going to have to be willing to take out one of the family members, y'all. So we know Monet. She is about that life. You know what I'm saying? I believe she a pop a kid if she had to. One of her kids at that. And we know what Drew and Diana, they have just done when it comes to Monet. They had take their moms out. But it seems like Dirty Diana was having second thoughts at the end of the season finale. But y'all know Lorenzo. He always said family first. So even though they messed up, just like Lorenzo told Kane, even though y'all messed up, I still got y'all back. What's going to happen this time around? Will he take the lessons that he learned from his pops and will he use them in season four? Or will he say, you know what? Screw that family first stuff because they try to set moms up. They try to set me up with this whole game plan and I'm not having it. So we're going to see what Kane is going to do. And once he does figure out the truth, how will he act when it comes to Tariq? Will he try to say, you know what? Let's patch things up because it's not really worth it. Or is it a little bit too late for that? You know what I'm saying? If I'm Tariq, I want to take Kane out at all costs, but I will use Kane against himself in order to take down the Tejada family. But we're going to see what's going to happen in season four. You guys leave your early predictions down below. We will continue to break down characters and early predictions and fan theories very soon. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.